Welcome back to Aurora Tech Channel. I am currently testing the Bamboo Lab H2C, and I've been working with this printer since early October. During this time, I have printed almost everything on it. This is not a full review yet, since I am still running more tests and editing the clips, but I want to share some early results and a few important facts you may want to know about this machine. In Bamboo Lab's latest H2 series, the lowest price model is the H2S. It is a single extruder printer with an AMS, basically an upgraded X1 carbon with more sensors, a larger build volume, and several refinements. The middle option is the H2D, which I reviewed earlier this year. It is a dual extruder version that lets you load a different AMS into each extruder to reduce filament waste when printing multicolor models, or Z or waste when printing two different filaments like one for the model and one for support. The top of the line is the H2C. It also has dual extruders, but it is equipped with a Houghton rack on the right side of the machine, which works like a parking rack for Houghtons. When the printer changes color, it swaps the hot end instead of cutting and purging filament like a single extruder AMS setup. This makes the H2C not only faster, but also capable of producing almost zero waste, no matter how large your model is, as long as you are printing with seven colors or fewer. The H2C has three types of color changes, each with different timings. The fastest is switching between the left and right extruders, just like the H2D. This takes about seven seconds. The second type is the right extruder working with the Houghton parking rack. The printer switches Houghtons while rewinding the filament back into the AMS at the same time. This is followed by heating the new Houghton and loading the new filament from the AMS. Each of these unloading and loading steps takes around 15 seconds. In total, this type of color change takes about 30 seconds. The third type is the slowest. When a Houghton is loaded with a new color for the first time, it needs to flush out the previous color. This takes about 1 minute and 10 seconds. If you are printing with 7 colors, this happens 7 times for the entire print and generates only a small amount of waste, no matter how large your print is. In terms of speed and filament waste, compared to a single extruder AMS system, the H2C produces significantly less waste, up to 5 to 10 times less is very common. For speed, it is usually 2 to 3 times faster for regular multicolor models or models that use a different filament as support. It can be even faster when printing six or seven colors or models with frequent color changes. When comparing it with multi-tool head machines like the Snapmaker U1 or the Prusa XL, the multi-tool head machines are generally faster, but with the right setup and some workarounds, the H2C can match or even beat them. In terms of filament waste, the H2C is basically identical to a multi-tool head system, so I would say this is the ultimate solution for AMS-style multi-material printing. It is much more advanced than anything else on the market today, so I expect to see another round of reverse engineering from other manufacturers over the next few years, even though a few of them have only just released machines that are on par with Bamboo Lab's first-generation AMS. Stay tuned for my full review, which I expect to release in the next couple of days. If you are interested in checking out the new H2C, I have included the link in the video description.